I'd like to welcome the Jesuit family present here, made up of Jesuit fathers and brothers, men whom we owe a lot to. May I just ask the Jesuits present here to please stand up. Just stand up so that we see you and we remember you. I'm here to represent uh, my big brother, William Mandinde, who is the current chairperson of uh, the SICA committee. And I'd like to welcome all the alumni members who are here today and their spouses. Uh, as the alumni committee, um, we are happy to see you here. And today's event is one of more events to come in our effort to help the school raise funds, which funds will be, will be used to at least uh, do some work at the school. I'm sure if you've been to college in the last couple of years, you may have seen that uh, a lot of um, buildings have been run down, uh, some systems aren't working anymore. In fact, when you compare the school today and when we were there, there's a huge difference. And the reason why, as the committee, we're here today is at least play our part in terms of raising funds. We are hoping to raise money, which will be used for various projects. Uh, I think the first project, if I'm not mistaken, has to do with the painting of the chapel. And then thereafter, we'll touch on such issues as the um, the school hall, the water supply system, and doing something with the solar energy project, as well as equipping the college gym. The real thing that each and every one of us remembers is not only the Indonesian spirit that was born in us, but our commitment to Christianity, our commitment to going to church, our commitment to mass. And I think that is one of the greatest things that we knew the important things. What I then experienced is what many of you here have experienced. Being ambassadors in your own chosen field, being ambassadors in your own chosen career. And we have actually gotten to a level where it is natural or normal for us to actually go there and be the leader in whatever field that we are. Besides going to the nation, what else would have led someone to where I am? And I started thinking about this whole thing of giving, because today we are going to give and give, I hope generously, to the cause of St. Ignatius. And I remember that people say this, you give not because you have, but you have because you give. And this has been quite true in my own life and my wife and the things that we have done. It's to those who give, they shall receive. But when you give, you must be careful what you give. Because what you give is most likely what you are going to receive. When you give from the heart, you are going to get education of your heart and soul. When you receive after having given from the heart, what you receive is going to be something that is going to edify and bless your soul. And I must say to you, when we finish this church project, Mabita, my life has never been the same. Don't come to me and say you think I've got everything, but I'll tell you, yes, I've got everything. Why? Because what I am receiving on a daily basis, I think, is the peace, love, and harmony that each and every one of us so much requires and so much deserves. So I think we are going to go into fundraising. If I have not opened up the doors of giving for you, then I don't think anyone else is going to open up. <laughs> Thank you for getting the Alumni Association of St. Ignatius up and running. I think there have been all sorts of little attempts here and there with different year groups. Uh, but it, this one looks hopeful, uh, so I hope it does, does develop. Um, 
something, I'm going to share with you something which just struck me, talking about the sort of the fabric of the school having deteriorated over the past 50 years or so, which is true, it's true. There are two ways of solving that, uh, and I know you're interested in solving it because your reputation as old alumni of St. Ignatius is enhanced by that school still being a prestigious and decent school. So you're very interested. So there are two ways that can be done. We could follow the St. George's College route. In other words, make this a private school. Then we could fix the buildings. But in the process, we exclude the people like yourselves, who were the brightest potential students in those days. The alternative is the, the alumni, which is yourselves, get things moving so that you can be followed by another generation, ongoing generations, of the brightest kids who have the greatest potential and who will benefit not just from the academic, but also benefit from the Ignatian ethos and doing things for the world, for the others, for the church. That's the end of my message.